It's Jeff Scott. Uh, all right, growing up, I would only watch lesbian porn. I didn't want to see another man's dick. I thought that would, you know, give me the gay. And when I was younger, having the gay was a sin. But you see, porn, well, that's where I learned all my sex moves from. So until I was like 24, I was just out here scissoring bitches. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to get back in the dating scene right now. I uh, just had a first date recently with a girl. Uh, I took her to a pet store after lunch. I figured we could look at the puppies. And while we were there, she kept telling me how much she loved reptiles. I thought it was going great. But as soon as we get back to my house and I finally get my pants off, she gets all mad at me. And I was like, what? Earlier you said you love turtles. <laughs> I really am trying to focus on my stand-up career right now, but I, uh, I don't have any social media, you know? No Instagram, Snapchat, nothing like that. In fact, right now, the only social media I have is Jerkmate. It's, I don't know if it's all my career or not, but the chicks keep laughing. Seriously, though, if I would have known there was going to be this many hot chicks here, I would have put a sock in my pants or something. My problem is I'm all balls. But you know, they say one in 50 men do have a micro penis. My question is, which president was it? No way it was Obama, Michelle's not putting up with that. Cl Keep going, I wanna hear the end of this. Clinton, Kennedy, they're out for obvious reasons. But personally, I kinda think it was Lincoln, dude, cause what type of cuckold shit was that? We had such a good thing going. <laughs> Very good. Thanks, Tony. Jeff Scott, straight out of the audience. I love it. Let's get into Thanks, it. How man. long you been doing stand-up? About a year now. About a year. We're at? Uh, Chicago. I love it. Chicago. Very good place for comedy. Uh, what do you do for work? I build swimming pools. You build swimming pools in Chicago? In Chicago, yes, sir. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> if you like swimming two months out of the year. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Jeff Scott. That's why I'm here. Yes. Uh, I love it. So, um, very interesting, Jeff. Uh, lesbian porn, turtles, Thanks, jerk sir. made, all the way through. I love the Lincoln joke. It was great. Joe List, what do you think about this guy? Yeah, that was fantastic. I mean, straight out of the audience, you killed, you make your own sweatshirts. It was really... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what can't he do? Oh, man. You are in the audience tonight. Uh, Every you're day. a fan of the show. You came here with people. How did you end up uh, here? You bought a I ticket? I came with my girlfriend. I've been in standby for like the last six weeks. Since Stand you stopped by. doing the H-E-B. Yeah, standby tickets. Right. So you've been like waiting in line. First, yeah, every day. Every Monday. Really? What time do you get here? This is an interesting thing. I've heard rumors about this. About like people, how long people wait. And I don't want to give that. it away. I get here at noon. Okay, yeah. You're afraid people show up at 1130 yeah, now. I don't want to give it away. On. Yeah. I see what's going on. So you get here at noon. Do you bring like a chair or something? Yeah, or? I get here early so I get the parking spot right next to it. And I bring a chair and yeah, I just kick it all day. Fucking cool, man. And you've been signing up every week? Every week, yeah. Sundays. And, and then you finally got pulled. Finally, yeah. How many has it been? How many weeks? S since you've been back from HEB. So six, is it? Yeah, six weeks. That six weeks. sounds about right. Um, amazing stuff. I love it. Uh, tell us more about you. Oh, well, actually, I knew I was going to get picked tonight. So I was standing in line and a bird pooped on me. Really? And everyone, I didn't know. I was mad. But everyone in line was like, that's good luck. You're getting on tonight. And wow. I can't believe I got on tonight. That's, That's crazy. That's fucking incredible. Yeah. I was going to say, how the fuck did you know that yeah. you were getting on tonight? <laughs> Everybody always has conspiracy theories. Where did I was poop? very excited to find right, right, out. Right there. You can't see it. My girlfriend did a good job cleaning it up. Hell yeah. Wow. <laughs> Absolutely. That's incredible. Good girlfriend. Hell yeah. That's she fair. fell in love with your scissoring abilities? Yeah. That's how I won her over. Yeah. <laughs> She's right out there. Yep. No, I know. I get it. I know how it <laughs> you can hear it. Yeah. I know how. I know how the architecture of the building is. <laughs> it's definitely out there somewhere. I love it. So, what, how old are you? Uh, thirty-one. Thirty-one. What have you been doing with your life up until this point? You've been building swimming pools. Building the whole swimming time? pools, loving it. Plumbing, electrician, Plumbing, all, the, electrician. all the fun stuff. Look at you, a man of many talents. How That's long it. have you been with your girl? Uh, thirteen years. Wow! Incredible. My goodness. Look at that. She's done more for turtles than the elimination of plastic <laughs> straws. That's incredible. I love it. Uh, incredible stuff. What does she do? She's a wedding planner. Aw, adorable. And you guys aren't married? We're not married, no. 13 wow. years? 13 years, yeah. We're not, we're not I mean, big into it. We're not big into you it. You can't write better than this. <laughs> <laughs> You've been dating a wedding planner for 13 years? Yeah. That's true. I but, hope you do that as a bit. Yeah. <laughs> I'll write yeah. it down. 
Yeah, that is a really good. You literally can't. You, the first three bucket pulls definitely can't write anything like that. <laughs> and here you are in the interview portion, just absolutely smashing with better premises than anybody yeah, came right. up with uh, before you, other than of course the great Casey Rocket, who hit Terry Bradshaw right on the head multiple times. <laughs> you can't beat that. You can't beat that. Tony, can I ask you a question? Absolutely. Has there ever been a proposal on Kill Tony? <laughs> stop, Joe. There, stop, yeah, Joe. There, 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 there has. There has. Oh, yeah, there's, oh, there there is, was there. one in Sydney, Australia, <laughs> and uh, between a chubby white guy and an Asian girl, and then there was one on New Year's Eve. You'll never believe it. Oh, chubby yeah. white guy and an Asian girl. <laughs> <laughs> Did she? She didn't prepare a minute, though, right? No, she, she doesn't, doesn't do stand-up. No, stand she doesn't do stand-up. Right? No. And you don't want to bring her up here, do you? We don't need. Uh, if you want, I mean, she'll come up. She loves uh, attention, so. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh my god. Wow, I see why you've been dating for 13 years. <laughs> Holy shit. I love that you know she loves attention but still won't propose and give her a wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a reason why you haven't proposed yet? Oh, You're I guess afraid not. to go in I the mean, deep we're not, end? We're not big into it. No kids, no marriage. Afraid to go to the deep end? This fucking swimming yeah. pool builder? <laughs> sons of bitches. What about the tax break? I guess, yeah, I guess. God, Does it make a lot of sense? Good question, Red Man. What about the tax break? <laughs> What's the longest set you've ever done? Jesus Christ. Uh, like 10 minutes. 10, 15. I would love to have you for like, do a five minute set on the Secret Show Thursday. Yeah. Amazing, heck yeah. Secret Show. And guess what, my friend? Six weeks in the making, the first big joke book of the night. Jeff Scott, everybody. He's Jeff Scott Jokes on Twitter or Instagram or one of the two.